give us just a little wrap up on your thoughts on, on tonight and then we'll throw it open for questions. We won five matches in a row and then we lost three. And so we got to pick ourselves up as a team and go forward. And this sport is so funny because of the emotions and the change. And the bottom line is, is we got two seventh place matches. We got a guy in the top six that has a chance to get third, and he's a senior. And we got three in the finals. Okay, questions for Coach Brands, right here on the front. Coach Brands, Zeb Miller, Flow Wrestling, Go Ohio Cast. Uh, looking at the one two punch that got you started off at 25 33. How huge was that? And, uh, you know, riding those guys' momentum, you got another finalist after that. But how important were those two guys coming out wrestling the way they did? And, and Gilman, you know, just just gritting through that that uh, that win against Tomasello. How huge was that? They were all tough matches, and they were all three um, won. And that's what you do. When you're dominate, dominating wrestler, you want to dominate, you win tough matches. And it really is that simple at this point. And, you know, you could say it's not pretty or not this or that, but... You know, I had one question about when Sorensen going to get to his offense after the Nebraska match. Hey, no better time to get to your offense than in overtime. And, uh, you know, and no better time to win than round and round and round. First row, Mike Finn. Uh, Tom, when, Brand, when Sorensen was in here, he talked about that, the fact that fans don't understand why he's more explosive, but he says the coaches understand. What do we not see what is happening with a guy like Sorensen? Well, I'll, I'll ask the question back. And I don't like it when people answer a question with a question, but I'll answer the question back at you. Is He's pretty consistent, right? And you would say yes. And so you don't try to change someone that maybe doesn't have the gifts that just because you're a fan you want to see it. Um, so the questions come, but I'll tell you what, I'll defend him every time because he's very consistent, he represents our program very well, and he's pretty doggone tough. Um, through adversity and other things as well that you know you don't see every day, which we see every day. Um, the other thing is, is he's got you know people say he's got one hold. He's got about four or five holds. He can run around behind you. He's got a he can go to this side of the body and he can go to this side of the body. So that's why I defend him. That's why I defend him. One more question for Coach Brands. Anybody good? One more in front. Coach Brands is up, Miller. Go Ohio Cast Flow Wrestling. Uh, if you look at the pressure and the output that Zane uh, puts on people at 149, it's similar to what you and your brother put on people. How are you guys going to prepare Sorensen for what he is bringing? And it, it's just amazing the amount of output he has. How do you prep him for that? And he's felt it in the Big Ten Finals. How do you prepare him for that output? Well, the Big Ten Finals, the first thing is, is we – we gave up an easy takedown, not saying that Rutherford didn't earn it. He earned it, but we gave it up too easy. It was in on the leg, and then he kind of fell down. That's the first thing. We can't give anything easy. And then the second thing is, is you got to win a tough match. You gotta, you're going to be in tough situations and tough matches, and you got to rise above in those situations. And if there's a series of them, you got to keep rolling. And then you win the tough match, and it's a lot like Gilman. It's a lot like Gilman, and that's the psychological, the emotional aspect of the sport that – defines you as a competitor. It's that simple. Coach, thank you so much. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it, Tom.